Hello again, good friends. Brian from Apex Detail. Today, we're going to take a look at a pretty obscure product. This is Fuso Coat Soft 99's Mirror Shine. What the hell is this? I have no idea myself. I had to use Google Translate and scan the box. And even doing that, there are a lot of words lost in translation, guys. Just to put it simply, this is a polymer coating. In translation, um, there are a lot of words used. Protective covering, uh, a polish. It's not a polish. It, it's a... Uh, a polymer sealant that can be used to maintain the Fuso Coat Soft 99 uh, wax, which lasts pretty much nine months, sometimes more. Um, so this also will come in containers that say it's for a light-colored car or a dark-colored car. And what's in the pack is the uh, polymer sealant itself, and you'll get 250 milliliters and a microfiber towel. So let's play with this and, and see if it's worth if it becomes more available right now, guys, you could pick it up on eBay around $27, somewhere around there. It's pretty much the only place where you're going to find it and be able to order it from anywhere. Uh, so this is what it looks like if I put it out in my glove. It's just a uh, polymer sealant, a liquid sealant. The reason I have two areas masked off, it does say in the translated description on the box that you can put it on and wipe it right off. And you can also just lay it on and leave it there without wiping it off. Wiping it off is not necessary according to the direction. So what we want to do is see if it bumps up gloss at all. I'm going to get some readings in both sections. We'll get an average and we'll write it down there for future reference. The directions indicate a 24-hour full cure time before using a surfactant to clean it, getting it wet. And protection is also sheeting. So those of you with hard water um, problems in your area, like we do here in the Northeast, especially Pennsylvania, it may be a product that helps you if it is something they will push on a global uh, market, something that will become more readily available. As usual, I'll give you the basic uh, application method first, and then I'll bring you in for the first-person view. Give you an idea what it looks like up close as we're applying it. It does indicate that it would be able to last for nine months if you're using this product as stand-alone protection. We'll get an idea uh, when we torture it a little bit and run it through the 10-wash test. As always, two layers in our test area, and I'm just going to wipe it off like I would any other polymer sealant. However, when we get to the other side, I'm going to do what the label indicates and just layer the product on there without wiping it off, and we'll see what happens. All right, for this side, I'll bring in close, get to see what it looks like as it's being applied, spread out in the test area. And again, we're just going to wipe it on. I'll make sure it's in that little test area as evenly as possible, and we'll let it be. We'll let it cure just like that. All right, so we're going to let it go. We're going to let it cure. Proper cure time is important, especially for testing here. Without the proper cure time, it would be a waste of time. I don't have spare time to begin with, so we're going to give it uh, 24 hours plus. And when we come back, we will get some gloss measurements. We'll see if the slickness increases. Okay, so after 24 hours, both sides actually have a little bit of a haze. Uh, the portion that we left dry after just applying it has uh, a nice amount of, of haze we have to wipe off, actually. So that doesn't really work, just wiping it on and letting it go. And also, when we come down to see the area we applied it to and wiped it off, even that has a slight haze as it cured as well to wipe off. That said... Once the haze is removed, it does seem like there's a nice jump in gloss in the test area. Let's get some numbers behind it. Nowhere near the highest group of numbers that we've had on the channel, both in the jump in gloss and the gloss units themselves, but 
Anything over five units is something you're going to be able to easily pick up with the naked eye, and it has done that. So let's look at slickness. Slickness, ever so slight edge over the untreated panel. Um, not very impressive. Let's take it outside. Can we see uh, when we're outside, does it make the panel, the test area, look darker or richer? I can barely make out an outline. I don't even know if you're going to be able to pick that up through the camera. When it comes to repelling water, uh, it does indicate that it is a sheeter. Uh, well, it's beating for me here. That doesn't mean that's going to last very long, so let's put it through the 10 wash test. Another thing I want you to do is keep an eye on both sections. Remember one section we apply just like a regular sealant, apply it, wipe it off, and the other side we just left it go like the label indicated. Does one side last longer than the other? Let's find out. Right here we can see it's sheeting like it's supposed to and this is a section where we put it on properly like a, a regular sealant and the other side is where we just applied it and left it go and that side is failing and has failed actually already. Although I have a ton of respect for Fuso Coat Soft 99, the, the hard wax, having no idea what this stuff is, it already outperformed where I thought it would land. So by the eighth wash, we're down to some slow sheeting, but let's continue on until we don't see the outline of the protected area at all. And those are the results of the 10 wash test. Since there is a little bit of sheeting left in the taped uh, area, the test area, let's just put it through one round of the traffic film test. So the traffic film test, we have uh, an alkaline degreaser, and then we have our mixture of everything that you could think of that would possibly leak out of an automobile out into the roadways, and then when it rains, mixes together and splashes up onto your vehicle. So let's get it applied. I let it sit for three minutes. We rinse off, hit it with the alkaline cleaner, and then wash it with our uh, rinse wash, our strip wash, and it actually... After that point, it has come in contact with every chemical that it will come in contact with as you head it out, as the car heads out into Mother Nature, the roadways, and everything else it will see. As you can see here, after coming in contact with this concoction, the protection has tucked its tail and ran off. So, you know, as a maintenance product for the Fuso Coat Hard Wax, I think it would be a decent idea. Uh, standalone, 
protection on your vehicle, you would have to probably reapply every month or two. So that was fun. I, I love testing products that I have no idea how they perform. It, it's a nice surprise. Um, and I really, this was brought to me by a viewer, and I really appreciate that. Thank you very much. It was fun, and I hope it was fun for you.